Hey everyone, in Exodus chapter 17, this past week, we looked at the story of the Israelites in the desert where God has led them to a place where there is no water. And they sort of put God on trial. They accuse him of leading them to a place where they're going to die. And they ask, are you with us, God, or not? And what's wild is God is sort of willing to take this accusation from his people. And he calls them out to himself and he goes and he stands by the rock at Horeb and he calls Moses to strike the rock and water comes out so the people can live. I had a seminary professor who pointed out to us that that little word by, where it says that God stood by the rock, can also be translated on. And if we take it that way, what that means is God is on the rock as Moses strikes it. So it's not so much Moses striking the rock, it's Moses striking God himself. God being willing to take that blow so that his people can have water. And if we take it that way, then, of course, it's a beautiful picture of what God does ultimately do for us in Jesus, in God the Son. Jesus takes the blow for us. He goes to his death so that death and sin can be defeated and we can have all that we need, new life in him. What this means is when we inevitably find ourselves in a place like the Israelites did, where it feels like we've been led through the desert to a place where there is no water and we can't see the way forward, it doesn't mean that it's going to be easy or fun, but what it does mean is we can know that our God listens to our cries, he cares about us, he loves us, and he will give us what we need. Thanks for watching. Have a great week.